Hi, Ellie. Teacher. Hi, how are you? It's okay. Thank you. And you? I'm okay. 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 Yes. Is it raining yes. in your house, Ellie? It's raining? Sorry. Is it raining yes, in your house? It's raining. Yeah. It's raining a little. Ah, okay. Uh, one hour one hours ago, it was hard. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Right now is it's a little bit. It's a few. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Ellie, where do you live? You live here in San Salvador. Yes. Okay. Uh, I live in, in San Jacinto. Oh, okay. Recently, I changed. Recently, I changed uh -huh. the house. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, here I arrived in February. February. Oh really? Okay. Ah. In February I coming I coming here. Okay. All right. To the new house. Uh -huh. All uh, right. Yes, in the new All house. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. I lost my house in Mariot. Oh. Mm -hmm. My husband, my my ex husband, he lost he didn't pay my <laughs> Okay. Uh, in fact, I love, I love the house. All right, I understand, Ellie. And How you, many? Where yeah. do you live? I live here in San Marcos, Ellie. Ah, <laughs> it's yeah. near here. Yeah, it's near, yes. yes near. Yeah, very good. How many children do you have, Ellie? Uh, I have two. <laughs> oh, my God. I have two children and one dog. Oh, very nice. All right. I now, have three. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, your children are boys or boy and girl or two girls? And both. I have a boy. I have a girl and I have a boy. Oh, okay. Mm, very nice. My right. daughter, she's mm, 17 years old. 17? Yes. Oh, she's uh, old. The baby is 10 years old. Okay. Yeah. He's my baby. Yeah, he's your baby. And you? Are you single? No, no, I'm married. Ah, you're married. Yes, yes. Family. Yeah. Yeah, I have three children, Ellie. But uh, you, didn't, you didn't have children. I have three. Three children? Yeah. Mm. I have three children. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's difficult. Sometimes it's difficult. It is, especially when they are like little. Yeah. How old? How old they are? My oldest son is sixteen. My oh, like yeah, yeah. My second daughter, she's eight, and mm. the little one, she's six. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I keep very busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we're being complete. Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Hi, Irene. Hi, everybody. Hi. How are you today? Hi. Good evening. Very well, teacher. Excellent. A little tired, but it's happy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Right, very good. It was nice to have you in class. What about Nubia? Hi, Nubia. Thank you. Hi, teacher. How are you today, Nubia? I am not bad. Excellent. That's mm -hmm. nice. Is it raining by your house, Nubia? Yes. Yeah? Okay. I think it's yes. raining everywhere right now. Okay. Nubia, do you live here in San Salvador? No, I live in Ilo Vasco. Oh my goodness, really, Nubia? Yes. <laughs> oh, nice. I like Ilo Vasco. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> yes, it is. It is, especially because of the artesanías. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, very nice. Do you live like in the town of Ilo Vasco, Nubia? No, I live in. Uh, 
a two kil kilometer mm. after Ilovasco. After Ilovasco. Yes. All right. Okay. okay. And do you work in Ilovasco? We're here in San Salvador. Uh, Hello. Hi. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola. Hello. I work. I work in Ilovasco. Ah, okay. All right. I see. Yes. That's nice, Nubia. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Nubia. Very good. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Jenny? Uh, really, a little sick, teacher. Oh, really, Jenny? Yes, but I'm okay. Oh. I class. All right, very good. Okay, very nice. How Thank are you? you? I'm okay. I, I'm okay, Jenny. Very good. Do you have your private class today, Jenny? Yes. <laughs> very <laughs> good. Okay. What time do you have it at? What time? Uh huh. What time do you have your class at? Uh, um. Mm, Three years. No, but I'm asking Three about. Three years the, ago, I. Uh huh. Two years ago. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. All right. Okay. And when I uh, start the classes in Instaport. All right. I see. I see. Very nice. Interesting. All right. Very good. All right, very good girls, They're only girls right now, cool. All right, <laughs> so yesterday for Irene, Nubia, Eli, and Jennifer, we were talking about investing, all right? When you say you invest on something is that you spend not only money, but you invest time, you invest energy you invest everything according to what you um, have around you all right so when we talk about investment not only we talk about money we talk about many many things all right people think that when you say invest it only refers to money but you invest for example right now hi williams hi jose luis for example, right now you invest your time in learning English or practicing your English, okay? So that investing not only, it, it doesn't only like refer to money. The time. Right, time, yes, of course, energy, will, you know, you invest the necessity of being here, all right? So, and yesterday uh, we were to, hi Jesse, we were talking about investing hi. on, hi, on training the workforce. When we talk about the workforce, we talk about the employees, we talk about people that work for any company, okay? Yesterday, we were, we were able to watch two videos, and one of the videos, the lady said that investing on the training force, it is important because the uh, people or the employees, they feel listened to, okay? so. For example, if do you feel important, uh, Williams, when someone asks you, like for example, when you come to class and I say, hi Williams, how was your day? How are you? Do you feel okay with that question? Or it's like, yeah, why is she asking me that? Yes, I think I care at this person. Right, yes, all right. Okay. Someone All right. You about your day. Or... That's right. Yes. All right. So it's the same thing. All right. Sometimes we want people to listen to us. I was saying yesterday that we spend many hours, many days in the office, in the workplace. All right. In the school that you work on, the company, the hotel sometimes or the ngo like williams sometimes we spend more time in our jobs than in the house all right so it is very yeah, it is true right jenny 
Sometimes we work all day, every day. And when we come home, it's dark. It's a sleeping time or eating time. And then you go to sleep. All right. So the time that we spend in the house sometimes is very little. So we spend a long time in our company. Okay. Now, we, because we spend a lot of the time in the companies, the companies should value us. All right. When I say value, means that they should care about you, about how you feel. All right related to trainings okay remember that a couple of days ago i was asking you uh, if in your company they ask you aha uh -huh, jenny what kind of training do you want all right what kind of training do you think you need in many companies they don't ask all right sometimes you say ah, i wish i could go to this training but they don't send you all right, so you think like, nah, I wanted to go, all right, but they don't send me to this training or they never send me to any training. There are companies that they never send to any kind of training, all right? And training should be like a fundamental right for you, all right? So yesterday we were watching the videos about investing on the training workforce okay i hope I'm, I'm gonna be able to share the other videos i wanted to share with you yesterday but for some reason i don't know why i cannot share that just give me a second let me fix that i really need to share that with you guys i'm just gonna okay. close another window uh let me see i have this one i'm just gonna open one here I'm dealing with these guys. All right, so here. Okay, let me see. I don't know why, guys, I cannot share it. You know what we can do? I'm gonna play it and maybe I can share the computer sound with you. No, I need to share it. Why am I not able to share this video? Anyway. Uh, let me see if I can open the other one. Just give me a second, guys. I'm dealing with this. Just be patient, guys, please. Just let me get it out. I, I thought I was going to be able to share it with you today. Give me a second. Okay, let me see if I can do it now. Hi, Eli. Hi, Moises. Hi, okay. teacher. All right, I'm going to do it. With the connected All teacher. Right. Yes, okay. That's okay, Danny. That's okay, Ellie. That's okay. Don't worry about it. You're here. All right, okay. Now I can get it, guys. All right, so we're going to see it this way. So this one is another video. I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanted to present, or I want to present some, like about four videos, short videos. Please pay attention to why they say investing on the training workforce, it's important, okay? So please pay attention. I'm just gonna share the uh, sound here. Let's see. Why do you think it's important for organization to invest on employee learning and development? It's a fair point, you know, a lot of organizations do cut um, Learning and development is the first thing when you know the economy is bad. You know we don't need to spend money on this. We don't need to invest in it. This is something that can go. It's a nice to have. A lot of companies see it as a nice to have rather than a need to have. You know I think that the way that the world is now, that especially being in financial services, if you don't keep up to date with the regulations or with 
um, the financial training and and then of course having good leaders who can support people in doing those jobs if you don't keep people in place to make sure that they're getting that education you're gonna flounder you know look at Lehman Brothers you know and, and a lot of the training and development events that I go to are for financial services people what I'm hearing now is this is where they're making the biggest investment in learning and development because they don't want to go through what we went through in 2008 again and they don't want people to be making mistakes you know risk management is huge now compliance is huge now there's a lot of training that has to get done to make sure people understand that stuff it may not be the sexiest training um, but it's necessary and again if it protects the bank it protects the company overall then um, people need to make the investment you know, sometimes they forget about the leadership skills and the other skills, but it kind of goes hand in hand. You may want to do the hard skills first, but then you've got to get people in place to support those hard skills from the soft skill perspective. All right, I want you to listen again to the same video. Please take notes because I think it's important what she says. All right, there you go again. Why do you think it's important for organization to invest on employee learning and development? It's a fair point. You know, a lot of organizations do cut um, learning and development is the first thing when, you know, the economy is bad. You know, we don't need to spend money on this. We don't need to invest in it. This is something that can go. It's a nice to have. A lot of companies see it as a nice to have rather than a need to have. You know, I think that the way that the world is now, that especially being in financial services, if you don't keep up to date with the regulations or with um, the financial training and, and then of course having good leaders who can support people in doing those jobs. If you don't keep people in place to make sure that they're getting that education, you're going to flounder. You know, look at Lehman Brothers, you know, and, and a lot of the training and development events that I go to are for financial services people. What I'm hearing now is this is where they're making the biggest investment in learning and development because they don't want to go through what we went through in 2008 again and they don't want people to be making mistakes you know risk management is huge now compliance is huge now there's a lot of training that has to get done to make sure people understand that stuff it may not be the sexiest training um, but it's necessary and again if it protects the bank it protects the company overall then um, people need to make the investment you know, sometimes they forget about the leadership skills and the other skills, but it kind of goes hand in hand. You may want to do the hard skills first, but then you've got to get people in place to support those hard skills from the soft skill perspective. All right, so that's one of the videos I went. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Henry. Hi, Gerardo. <laughs> hello, hello. All right, so that's one of the videos I wanted you to watch. I want you to watch another one. Hopefully, I'll be able to share that one also, just like the one I just did. Let's see this one here. Let me just get it. All right, let's see if I can share it. Hi, Diana. See, I'm able to share everything today. Very nice. Okay, the same question. He's asking like about five people, huh? five different people, why investing on their training workforce is important, okay? So again, I'm going to share the audio so you can take notes. I'm going to play it twice as we have been doing for the other uh, videos. Why do you think it's important for companies to invest on their employee training and development? I think it's utilizing the resources, you know, within your organization. Um, you know, it's very time consuming to have to rehire people because your first set of people didn't get it. I, I think you picked, you, you picked the certain people that you work with for a reason. So why not invest in their future? Why, you, you know, you obviously like them, you picked them. There are certain things about their character, their values, their principles, their, their work ethic. You picked them for a reason. So let's invest in them. Let's make them better at what they do. You know, you can increase their responsibility by teaching them more. And um, I, I just, I think, it's, I think it's more productive for a company to do that. Just invest in its own resources. All right, I'm playing it again. I, I really like what she says. I, I hope you guys are like taking notes about it. <laughs> Why do you think it's important 
for companies to invest on their employee training and development? I think it's utilizing the resources, you know, within your organization. Um, you know, it's very time consuming to have to rehire people because your first set of people didn't get it. I, I think you picked, you, you picked the certain people that you work with for a reason. So why not invest in their future? Why, you, you know, you obviously like them, you picked them. There are certain things about their character, their values, their principles, their, their work ethic. You picked them for a reason. So let's invest in them. Let's make them better at what they do. You know, you can increase their responsibility by teaching them more. And um, I, I just, I think, it's, I think it's more productive for a company to do that. Just invest in its own resources. All right, so now I'm going to show you the last video, actually, the last two videos. <laughs> All right. Position is not growing. I invest more on our employee training and development. Every time I see that organization is not growing, I invest more on our employee training and development. And I know that a good, great organization like GE also invest tremendously on the employee uh, development. Yeah. But I also saw that a lot of companies when during the recession period, when time is bad, first thing they cut is their training budget. Why do you think it's important to invest in employee training and development? Well, I think it goes to the heart of what we talked about in the very beginning, which is if you don't have your people in the right roles and the right places, the right time, almost nothing else you do will be successful. And the add-on to that is, and I, I said it earlier a little bit, is that you have to develop those people. You have to, what do you, if you don't take an active, in, an active role in their career and encourage them to do so, and that includes having a training plan and learning what it is that you need to, to grow, um, then you will not be successful. And so what you're saying doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I think a lot of companies and organizations, when bad times hit, they tend to you know, recoil. This is an interesting thing I've seen at different places, um, different groups and different, in fact, different cultures react differently, right? Some people uh, react to tough times by just you know, it's the siege mentality. Okay, close the doors, you know, cut all the costs. We're just going to ride it out until the storm passes. Um, and, and I think that if you do only that, you actually create a huge problem for yourself because it's the great organizations and companies that invest when it's the hardest to do so and when no one else is. And, and so I, I believe that um, you just, it, to me it's not a, it's not a variable cost, uh, really, when I think about it. it I, I know it's in the accounting world it's considered a variable cost, but I consider it a fixed cost, that you need to have that investment going on just as you would invest in keeping the lights on in your facility. Um, unfortunately, not a lot of people believe that, nor do they live by that, but, um, but I, I, uh, I do. And it's, it's, it's absolutely correct, I think, what you're saying. All right. Every time I see that organization is not growing, I invest more on our employee training and development. And I know that a good, great organization like GE also invest tremendously on the employee uh, development. Yeah. But I also saw that a lot of companies, when during the recession period, when time is bad, first thing they cut is their training budget. Why do you think it's important to invest in employee training and development? Well, I think it goes to the heart of what we talked about in the very beginning, which is if you don't have your people in the right roles and the right places, the right time, almost nothing else you do will be successful. And the add-on to that is, and I, I said it earlier a little bit, is that you have to develop those people. You have to, what do you, if you don't take an active, in, an active role in their career and encourage them to do so, and that includes 
having a training plan and learning what it is that you need to, to grow, um, then you will not be successful. And so what you're saying doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I think a lot of companies and organizations, when bad times hit, they tend to you know, recoil. This is an interesting thing I've seen at different places, um, different groups and different, in fact, different cultures react differently, right? Some people uh, react to tough times by just, you know, it's the siege mentality. Okay, close the doors, you know, cut all the costs. We're just going to ride it out until the storm passes. Um, and, and I think that if you do only that, you actually create a huge problem for yourself because it's the great organizations and companies that invest when it's the hardest to do so and when no one else is. And, and so I, I believe that um, you just, it, to me it's not a, it's not a variable cost. And really, when I think about it, it I, I know it's in the accounting world, it's considered a variable cost, but I consider it a fixed cost, that you need to have that investment going on just as you would invest in keeping the lights on in your facility. Um, unfortunately, not a lot of people believe that, nor do they live by that, but, um, but I, I, uh, I do. And it's, it's, it's absolutely correct, I think, what you're saying. All right, and I promise this is the last one according to like related to this topic, all right? Now, if you notice, the question repeats itself over and over again, and he's asking, is the same guy making interviews and everything? Asking different people. All right, just give me, let's see this one. Just give me a second. Yeah. All right. So I've been to many organizations. Some have invested extensively on employee development. Some have invested very little. And, um, and I can tell you that uh, some of them that invested extensively in employee development and forgot to care about the employees, the investment didn't yield much. Because investment alone in training without doing everything else is it's just like if you go to get a Superman outfit for Halloween, in the back of the outfit it would always say, it doesn't enable you to fly. And that's important. So organizations who, who think just because I'm offering you training, now you got to be good, um, don't really get the results they need to get. It doesn't make them fly. But if you got everything else working, then that is so critical that you have to do. Also, the learning is everybody's responsibility. I've had people come to me and say, you're not, you're not uh, uh, training me in my new skills. And I would say, well, you know, half of it is your job. Have you enrolled in a class yourself? And, and there is this blank space, stare sometimes. So it is not the organization's responsibility to develop the employees. It is the employee's responsibility to develop themselves. And it is the organization's responsibility to support that development. Um, and I think that neither one can shrug from the responsibility. And then you have to measure the fit of that what in whatever it is organization effectiveness efficiency productivity improve uh, customer service so do we measure and how do we measure the effectiveness of the training sometimes it gets lost So I've been to many organizations. Some have invested extensively on in development. Some have invested very little. And, um, and I can tell you that uh, some of them that invested extensively in employee development and forgot to care about the employees, the investment didn't yield much. Because investment alone in training without doing everything else is it's just like if you go to get a Superman outfit for Halloween, in the back of the outfit it would always say, it doesn't enable you to fly. And that's important. So organizations who, 
who would think just because I'm offering you training, now you gotta be good, um, don't really get the results they need to get. It doesn't make them fly. But if you got everything else working, then that is so critical that you have to do. Also, the learning is everybody's responsibility. I've had people come to me and say, you're not, you're not uh, uh, training me in my new skills. And I would say, well, you know, half of it is your job. Have you enrolled in a class yourself? And, and there is this blank space, stare sometimes. So it is not the organization's responsibility to develop the employees. It is the employee's responsibility to develop themselves. And it is the organization's responsibility to support that development. Um, and I think that neither one can drop from the responsibility. And then you have to measure the effectiveness. Well, in whatever it is, organization effectiveness, efficiency, productivity, improve uh, service. So do we measure of the training? Sometimes gets lost. All right. So hi, Normita. Hi, Norma. All right. Good evening, Norma. Welcome to class. All right, very good. So we watched like five or six videos, I can't recall how many, and they were all talking about how in, or why investing on the training course is important, all right? Now, um, I want you guys to tell me or to share with the rest of your classmates and with the class what did you listen to what was like what did you listen to like in the videos what were they saying why for them was it important to invest on the training force or their workforce uh the workforce invest uh for example in the first uh, video he talked about the the people working mm -hmm. but that reason is to increase the responsibility mm -hmm. efficient and the work in the workforce okay. and have a how the about the character values mm -hmm. and principles and uh, the people is more productivity more and productive. the company okay. yes, is more effectiveness too okay. um, and the second okay. video and the first video is about the truths are the same uh, for example the labor organization uh, some people have a economy bad um, in invested in financial services or in financial training uh, need a good leaders uh, inside right. the companies okay. invested in education and going gonna gonna be training um and he said, she say about the um, protects uh, the bank and protects the, the company. Right. They don't want a people. Mm. All right. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you. All Some right. Thing. Okay. All right. Anybody? And, uh, uh -huh. Yes. Continue then. And yes. the first video. In the first video. It's a little difficult to understand to she, but uh, some, some topics is about the invested in developed training mm -hmm. that the company uh, sometimes uh, goes to the heart um, and the people uh, People, um, it's a hard effort to the people, mm -hmm. and for example, the right roles in different right places. Um, 
Okay. And the people is in active roles and the careers. Okay. Um, the, we want to, the, to be more successful. Uh, in fact, is a uh, have a many different cultures mm -hmm. and see the mentalities to the people. All and, right. Let me think. Just think. All um, right. Okay. Very good. Yes. Thank you, Jenny. All right, let's see. Someone else that wants to tell me what they were talking about? Me Saying, yes, thank you, Irene. Yes, you had your hand up. Okay. Call me my attention, um, Eugenia Bachaleda, the video number uh, number four. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she said uh, that it's best investment uh, uh, because invest in the future employees, right? Increase the response, increase the responsibility employees too. Uh, is necessary for teaching more. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Only Very that. good. Thank you, Irene. Very good. All right. Uh, the lady, the one that um, that Irene quoted, she said that it's become more expensive to rehire all right, new people than to train the people that you already have, all right? I really like what she said because she said, when you, for example, if you're the, the manager or the human resources or the person that hired the, the other person, all right, you hire them for a reason. You, she was mentioning that you hire them because you like them, because you thought they had very good values, they had very good principles, they had very good knowledge, okay? So she's saying, okay, so if you like them, why not invest on them, all right? Because you don't hire someone that you feel that they don't uh, have the skills that you need for that job, all right? You usually hire someone that is qualified, or at least you believe he is or she is qualified, all right, so she was saying, okay, invest on them because you already chose them, all right? And it's much more expensive for any company to rehire someone new, all right? So that's a key point I think is very like, like a basic key point for anybody, all right? Because sometimes we say, oh, no, but I don't like Norma. She's not doing any, like she's not like getting the job right. So I'm not gonna train her, I'm gonna fire her, and then I'm gonna uh, hire someone else. And then I have to go through all the process again, teaching Henry everything that Norma already knew, but she lacked of training, all right? So sometimes it's much more expensive to hire, fire, and rehire, all right? Than investing on the training, on, you know, on the workforce that you already have, okay? Now, do you wanna do? You, do you guys have any other comments about this girl, that the one that was wearing the, the the gray jacket that was saying that, or any of the other videos? I don't know. I want to get a comment. Yes. It's about I try to get a a mixing of the four the four conversations. Uh huh. I think that the four conversations are so very necessary and important because in the few conversation that people say it's important to invest in recourse, mm -hmm. resource and in organizations. Okay. Because when the business has good resources and good organization, mm -hmm. the people work with best feelings. All right. And yeah. the work in the work is uh, more effective more, more effective but, yes more effective yes but in the number three they tell the principal how to know what they what they need to grow okay because in some cases they have good resource had good organization, mm -hmm. but no, no didn't uh, or don't have good employees. All right, okay. Or that employee don't want to work. Right, okay. Or don't, yeah. or don't have motivations. Right, okay, very and good. And the, the principal had to have good, good intelligence 
for for guests that the people need. Okay. For make for making good the job. All right. Okay. That that don't doesn't mean that people don't have mistake. Right. All the people can make mistake like the job, but it's okay. a few mistake. All right. Okay. I think in that. And the number four, uh, I'm I like the the messages that she gives. Is the learning is everybody's responsibility. Right. And I am agree of, of she because you agree. Each, you agree. Mm -hmm. Yes, because each one has the responsibility in that hands. Okay. Not not the organization ha had all the responsibility. Mm, right. The responsibility of the organization is get the training for you. Okay. But the develop of that training is our responsibility. All right. I see your point. Okay. Very good. Yes. And, and making that two motivation. Uh, no, by my motivation with the motivation on the principal when you make uh, mixing all the motivation you can make good uh, good jobs okay in different kinds of jobs because uh, no that conversation is not only for one one kind of job that's right it's no. for Yes, it's for different kinds of job because in all the kinds of job you need to improve your knowledge and pay attention it increase your knowledge too. All right. Because in some business the the door is closed, but you got to to open a new a new a new door, and you need to be have a good training okay. for starting a new job. All right. Okay. I That's see your so. point. Thank you, Jesse. Yes. All right. Very good. Oscar, Thank I you. thought you th uh, you were going to say something, Oscar? Oh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Well, I, I hear many things. Uh, well, um, at the beginning, uh, they were saying that uh, it's important to, to train people to recharge more responsibility from them mm -hmm. and it's good the other stuff was that the uh, is better investing in in, in people than rehire uh, people feel more priced and at the end i'm amazed of, of how the, the my classmates have a um Wrote down or, or retained, <laughs> retained the information, all that data, right? I know. All I know. that information, I'm amazed. But, um, but I have also my opinion. Okay. Well, I was, uh, well, we live in, in a under, okay, underdeveloped country. Yeah, we live in an underdeveloped country. Yes. I, I don't know how to say in, in Diaz de Desarrollo. It's, it's like a. In ways of improvement. <laughs> ways of improvement, something, some stuff like that. Right, yeah. So the reality is is the real, I mean, the real stuff, the real thing here is kind of different. Right. Because a uh, uh, long time ago, maybe 20 years ago or 30 years ago, they were more of uh, more employ, employment demand. Okay. Than, than there were more employment demand than the employment offers. Okay. So yeah. the 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 situation was that the they hire just uh, they hire stars in El Salvador. I mean, don't people you have to have a twenty five year you have to have by that time. 25 years old, two languages, two <laughs> careers, and right. also. 10 years of experience. Experience, right, and then yeah. we fall, we fall, I, I, I couldn't avoid to think on that. We fall on that kind of things. Right. For me, it doesn't make sense. That's right. So if you want all that experience, you have to train people. That's right. Train people because 
it's, it's hard to to buy inspiration by my own or myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. take one direction in, in in training myself in this is is i believe it's is shared as a uh, cruz yesenia said mm -hmm. okay it's my responsibility i want it's my inspiration to say okay i want to I want to go in specialize in this right. in this area because right. this is my area. But you you have to have the support. That's right. Your company. And so, and that yeah, go uh -huh. on, go on, no, go on, Oscar. Finish your point. That's okay. Oh, uh, so so I uh, it's for me it's, it's hard. It's right. hard here yeah. to apply. We have to tropicalize right. the, this That's information. Right. Yes, and you have to. Put the place on the ground, right? <laughs> and try to, to and wake to, up to reality, right, Oscar? Wake up to reality, <laughs> and no, and and to adapt, adapt this uh, because it's, this is good. Uh, maybe uh, ten years ago, nobody. I mean, many companies in El Salvador didn't were work, uh, talking about training. And training That's right now. Training, and training. So it's kind of hard then. As I said before, I'm amazed how people retain all the information. <laughs> the information yeah. I I try it to 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 memorize, but at the end, I just I just have I just have my opinion. That's right. No, well, that's okay. All that information. <laughs> that's okay, Oscar. Thank you. All right. So um, it, yeah, I don't know if anybody else has like an opinion or you want to comment on the videos that you watched before I I ask you a question. <laughs> Dianita or Williams, Norma or anybody, uh, Moises, Vero, Jose Luis, okay. any, yes, William. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, training is, is necessary because if you don't have people in the right role, uh, your company is not in the right way. Uh, in fact, uh, if you want to be successful and you need to grow and you want to train your employees because, uh, for example, uh, require different companies or organizations um, to be great companies. Uh, they are invest in that, uh, invest in the employees, invest right. in the people. So uh, all the time uh, we we can see some people who's all the time it's hiring people because no have a, a good environment to work. Right, right. So uh, in, in in fact, this is because they don't invest in their employees. In the, right. So uh, if you don't invest in training, you are continue to invest in hiring people. That's right. That is... Uh, um, Sometimes it's more expensive to the more expensive because uh, hiring people not is um, um, not is a process we require uh, a little time. Right, it's, I know. It takes a, you invest or, time. You invest a lot, uh, like a lot of your time hiring new people. That's right. Yeah. So I think it's better when you invest in training. Training. Right. Your actual people. Right. Okay. I see your point. Thank you, Williams. Very nice. Anybody else? Diana or anybody? Moi, Moises, eh, Nuvia, Norma, Henry. Aha, uh -huh, Dianita. Yes, I would like to say that the the last lady was uh -huh. really realistic. Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because she was saying that uh, the training programs are only uh, effectively. Mm -hmm. No. Effective, 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 yes. Effective when they are part of a complete uh, process. A, a complete process, yes. Because when everything else is, is good, the training program is it is like a complement. Right. Yes. But it is not like it is not like the the training program is it's going to resolve all the program all That's the right. problems when the company has a lot of problems. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and some yeah yeah that's right diana very good yeah i like i like i mean when i was like looking for the videos i wanted to share with you i really like this last one and the previous lady that was saying that if you i mean to invest on them is cheaper than to rehire people all right i mean i like all of them but i like those two 
it is very like important and we need to understand this sometimes and this happens uh, I think it happens both ways because we sometimes as employees we want to get sent I mean we want to go and participate on a training all right and then if the company doesn't send us we feel like oh but they are not listening to my needs all right so I'm blaming the company and then I stay on my comfort zone and I never take a training myself because they don't send me to them all right so sometimes that's one one way of seeing it all right the other way of seeing it is all right but what if i want to go as a person as an individual and i ask my supervisor or i ask my immediate boss and they don't support me because as oscar was saying these videos guys they are from the states all right they're not from here all right so as Oscar said, we have to tropicalize this reality because their reality, we're very far from them, all right? Now, I had another point. Here in El Salvador, this training stuff was not like that a while ago. I mean, it's becoming more and more of a trend now, all right, because people are looking at the necessity, the business people, or owners of companies or managers are seeing the necessity of training the workforce, all right? But we as a culture, this is the question I have for you. Do you think that we as a culture, eh, our managers, our companies, do they have that? And she said, one of the ladies said, it's not a wanting to have, it's a needing to have. You need to have training. All right. Now, do you think our companies in general, don't think about your own company, don't think about your own uh, business, don't think about you as the manager of this company. Think of El Salvador as a nation. Do you think that we have this training culture for employees or not? Or we're halfway? What do you guys think? Miss? Yes? Unfortunately, in our country, a lot of people don't believe in the training. The, a lot of people believe only in the work that you are making. Okay. But don't believe that with, with one training, you can improve your, mm -hmm. your job. Okay. It is a, a, another culture. It okay. is a, other countries have that culture. No. But country is in the way. Okay. Or or companies uh, are making the all the possible to to make that training more successful in our okay. business. Okay. But not 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 is uh, in the what in the wall in the wall in the one way it can be a right. complete way okay i'm okay. making some i only are making some possible ways but it, okay. but it's so difficult all right because though not only not all the employees believe in those kinds of also. training all right okay. a lot of employees thinking that the training is lost the time yes you're right you but, have a point jesse very good yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in yeah. my case yes all the training is so necessary and important to improve my okay. knowledge right because yeah. all the knowledge i ne are necessary in your life it's necessary yeah the, you i guess jesse you agree with diana the other day she said it doesn't matter if we don't i mean the training that i was sent to is not related to my job but i am an open book and i need the knowledge all right and i'll take it as it comes and i'm gonna see the positive side of it all right and you have a point because sometimes maybe our managers do send us to the uh, training but we as the as the employee were thinking oh, that's a waste of time i don't want to go because it's on a saturday i don't want to go because there's no coffee <laughs> right williams all right no, i'm kidding all right so sometimes it's like that all right so going back to the question do you guys think that we as salvadorians do we have the culture of training diana i don't know if you wanted to say something yes uh, i wanted to say that 
maybe if a, it is a specific training for the specific job, we have a, a culture that has a country. Ah, okay. But if it is like uh, to support uh, some formal education, mm -hmm. like to make a major or, or to make a, a, I don't know how to say, a, a, a mastership. Yeah, a master degree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A master degree. It, it, I, I think that most of companies in El Salvador, they don't have this school to, okay. to support because it, it takes a, a really, really long time for the employee. Mm -hmm. and maybe the, the employee is tired because it is really exhausting to do both activities. Okay, All right. Okay, I see your point. Very good. Jenny, you, had, you wanted to say something, Jen? Yes, teacher. Uh, in our country, uh, for example, uh, maybe the the um, the owner mm -hmm. have a good intentions uh, to the to the coworkers, but so the, the managers yeah. to the mm -hmm. to the <laughs> companies in El Salvador lives in the dinosaur age <laughs> because they <laughs> have a, yes they have a um. Uh, they they have a, a or they feel um I don't know in the moment miedo feel um they, they fear they feel fear yeah to the other co-workers uh, mm. take the the, the, the opportunity position or, okay. and they go out to the company All but right. it's not true because when when asked uh, when I have a, a opportunity to the training and and improve inside the company, uh, uh, we feel we feel the, the the good and improve inside the company, improve okay. the salaries, improve the new opportunities in the work okay. in these other areas. But mm. it's, it's for that reason in in El Salvador, sometimes it's difficult to the, to the okay. work. All right, I see your yes. point. Okay, very good. Yeah. Any, anybody else that wants to say something about the question Hi, I teacher. asked? Yes, I see you. Hello, teacher. Silvia, you wanted to say something, Silvia? Yes. All Can right, I go ahead. Explain. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, in, I think in all country there is no a culture of training. Okay. Of training because uh, I I compare the situation with other countries. Uh, if you uh, the in companies always uh, want the employee have experience in that in any area in. Right. in other countries, if the if a people w uh, looking for a work, if you don't have a experience, they they told the, the the people, don't worry, we we have a, a training right. for you. Okay. Is that case on my brother when he was working in this country, he don't uh, have he don't uh, find. He didn't uh, find work. Okay. Uh huh. Ah, but right. He, he, right now he is in other country. Is is worried. He he look for a work. He he don't have a uh, experience mm -hmm. in the company that he, in this in this time he is working. Give training. Okay. In, in the in the beginning, in other thing that I see that I watch in our country is maybe the companies uh, give training to the employee, but don't give a uh, feedback and mm -hmm. no and expect an instant result of that That's right. kind very of good. training. Yeah. yeah. I, this is my point. Yes, very good, Silvia. And you have a very good point. And you, I mean, what you're saying, Silvita, matches to the last lady that we were listening to. Because she said, and she made, a, she made a, like a, an example saying, okay, if you can wear a superhero costume, but that doesn't enable you to fly, all right? 
saying that, okay, fine, you may go to this training, but that doesn't mean you, uh, you know everything or everything is going to be fixed right away. And this is what, exactly what you're saying, Silvia, all right? Because fine, okay, you go to a training, you as the employee, but there's so much the uh, company needs to do for you, the employee, to show that it was effective, the training on you, and that you were you are able to, right? That's why the lady was saying it's a compliment between the company and the employee, all right? Between the training and the trainee, all right? So it's not just sending them to the training, all right? It's actually coming back to the company with the training already in you and then investing time on the feedback on everything else that you were mentioning sylvia very good point all right very good anybody else has a question or that you guys want to say something normita you've been very Sorry, quiet sure. yes jose luis uh -huh. okay in my point of view i think in el salvador the culture about training is bad because mm -hmm. uh, at the video stage some companies think that invest in training is a cost that's right. Yeah. But it, it has a huge, a huge problem okay. because when the company is training, uh, avoid many mistakes mm -hmm. and grow the, the company. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Jose Luis. Very good. Thank you, Jose Luis. Normita, you wanted to say something, Normita? Yes, teacher. Uh, good evening. Good evening. The country, we have a problem with the budget mm -hmm. in the national companies mm -hmm. to assign for training in the in the employees. Okay. In the country, uh, had our government had a support as a support, for example, mm -hmm. uh, when all the companies uh, payment one dollar per employee per month, and that budget. Uh, the company can use mm -hmm. to teach the that co-workers okay but in many occasions uh, as i mentioned for one classmate said the managers the local managers mm -hmm. do not have a good intention that's right yeah all right yeah uh, Excellent. In many occasions, the human resources department try to to send the people mm -hmm. at, at the training the Trainer, right. But not uh, not give authorization for that. Right, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Sometimes, some yeah, Normita, you're right. Sometimes, you know, maybe the manager wants to help, but human resources they don't want to help. Is the other way around. All right. So sometimes we're stuck, you know, because you as the employee, you're between the manager, the supervisor, human resources. She's done the buena, she's done the mal. Oh my goodness, all right. So it's very complicated. Yeah. Right. All right, Oscar and then Henry. Uh -huh, Oscar. Well, um, this is, um, we cannibalize ourselves in El Salvador in that <laughs> right. way. Yes. Because there's a, you know, it's a, this is not a scale economy. Right. It's a really micro economy, yeah, small right. economy. Yeah. So we're on the threshold right now. I believe we're in the threshold of uh, the or in the in the half. Uh, how to say? Uh, I cannot recall uh, which is the job yeah. offer mm -hmm. and the job demand. Okay. But somehow now our uh, more open more open minds more of the minded people okay. about trainings right, right now. Right. But, uh, but there's still, we still need more jobs That's right. to re regularize that, right. that thing. This this is not something like a, some, some, people, some person is good. Another person right, is, yeah. It's not good. It's just like um, it's a scale economy. It's a small right. economy. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Oscar. Okay, I th I, I also wanted to point it out that yes. the one guy in the, in the interview said that the training is a fixed... Uh, yeah, uh, a fixed price. A, phrase, a fixed uh, budget but, for yeah. many mm -hmm. companies. Right. And especially in the, in the times of crisis mm -hmm. right now. Right. So companies are training 
the people in this uh, pandemic time because uh -huh. they have more uh, spare time right yeah to, to take a to, to, get, to take a training right okay. yeah yeah very good all right uh, henry the last interview he said the responsibility no only the enterprise but also That's right. the employee the enterprise gave the call for the skill maybe this kind of karma but probably the employee is not used they right. say sometimes they don't have time right. they have to the program they don't have the time but the youth when after the notation is not easy because All right. the time is a uh, call uh, are uh, the person right and the other thing is the the presentation plan mm -hmm. is the plan not included in the person is speaking the people because they want the employees have a career in your place and a career as possible all right for the people okay very good yeah, and you know what? And one of the guys, thank you, Henry. One of the guys over was also mentioning that sometimes when we have recessions or bad times, the first thing that they cut out on is the for trainings. All right. And they say, okay, no, 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 no money right now for trainings. All right. When you have to actually invest on them, like when actually you have to pay for them. All right. So the first thing that they cut out is the training money. All right. So he was saying it should, it should be the other way around because at this moment is when you need more trained people, all right? Yeah, no, no, Henry, a little bit, break, like you sound like you're breaking out, but that's okay, Henry, I, I, I got your point. So um, I wanted to talk about this uh, investing thing because, whoops, uh, investing on trainings for the workforce because it relates to us guys, we all work. All right, we all belong to a company, all right? Uh, some of us have the advantage. Yeah, I'm coming. Some of us have the, thank you, Williams. Some of us have the advantage that we work on a company that is very well structured, that they do send us to trainings, all right? So that's very nice. But some of us are in companies that training doesn't happen, all right? So it's, it's really like interesting to see these points. It's interesting to see how other cultures, how other countries do things their own way and how we should see it and try to learn from them, the good things from them, all right? So it's quite interesting. I'm gonna take attendance right now. Uh, thank you, Williams, for reminding me, all right? And then I'm gonna show you the uh, PPT that we have for tonight, okay? So just give me here a second, guys, so I can take my attendance. All right, let's see. Uh, Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Present. Hi, Eli. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Henry Vladimir del Citepas. Henry, Present. thank you. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present, teacher. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Hi, Moises. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present, teacher. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present. Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Present. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present teacher. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present teacher. Gerardo Daniel Gomez Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. What happened, Normita? <laughs> Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Mm, pero sí estaba Eli. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Present. Verónica Lisette Soto Serna. Present. 
A Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. Present. Thank you. All right, very good, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to share this with you right now. Let me just get it for you and let just let me see it. All right. Okay, just give me, I just need to get this for you here. All right, so today guys, I, uh, we're talking about this. It keeps on being related to training as I explained to you. All right, but now I'm gonna be talking, actually, you know what I did, I'm gonna explain to you. The topic for tonight is design a list of trainings related to different jobs. We're not really going to go uh, talking about the uh, like different trainings. All right. We're talking about, I chose one type of training. All right. But I want you to relate it to different jobs. Okay. So it's, it's a little bit different. All right. But at the end of the day is the same is the same content. Okay. So we are i chose one type of training can you guys see my my screen yeah you guys see my screen okay very good so i yes. chose a i'm gonna tell you a thank you williams and, and oscar a one type yes. of training that we have talked about before which is on the job training all right remember that we have studied this one like about two weeks ago we were talking that one of the type of training is on the job training or is the OJT, that's how they call it, all right? job training, all right? So I chose that one, and we're going to read an article right now together, all right, related to that on-the-job training. When we finish reading, then I'll tell you what activity you guys are going to be doing in your groups, okay? So right now, I'm going to share this article that talks about on the job training all right this is the the training i chose for you <laughs> all right because i found it interesting all right it says building a workforce that really works so i'm gonna read to you for a little bit and then someone else will read for me all right it says did you know that there is a secret weapon for turning staff potential into performance and bringing trainees up to speed quickly the secret is not a new technology it's an established practice known as on-the-job training or OJT, on-the-job training, all right? So they say this training, on-the-job training, is the quickest way to train someone, all right? So that's why I chose it, all right? And there's a, a cute picture here, okay? So I guess many people are like being trained as we are watching this, okay? It says, on-the-job training is called many different things. Hands-on learning, learning by doing, or job mentoring, all right? You can find the OJT with other names as hands-on learning, learning by doing, or job mentoring. It's the same on-the-job training, okay? It's the kind of training solution that's so simple, it's often overlooked, okay? So why did I choose this type of training? is because I, it, was, it got my attention when I was reading this article this morning while I was planning your class, because it's like, oh, cool, all right, because you're on the job training, so that means that you don't really have to spend extra money because it's on the job training, all right? And I guess that's what happens a lot of the times here in El Salvador with different jobs, okay. So this article will provide you with a comprehensive explanation of OJT, including number one, what is on the job training? What is it about? How can OJT benefit your business? What are the flags that you need to launch training right now? What are the best ways to deliver effective OJT? And how can you start, how can you start, a, how can you start on the job training? All right, so we're gonna look at those things. Don't laugh, Williams. <laughs> it's Wednesday at 9 16, all right? <laughs> okay, it says, What on the job training? Simply put, on the job training is a way for employees to learn a job by observing and performing everyday job tasks. Most participants are new hires. So new, you understand new hires are new people that start working on your business, all right, or on your company. 
uh, into a job role. However, this method can also be used as part of an internal job rotation or a professional internship program. So on the job training, some people make the mistake thinking, okay, this is only for new hires. No, it's not the case. It can also be for internal job rotation. You have been, for example, Williams has been working on this um, company for 10 years, all right? But I have been working on the same company for the same time, but I do different, uh, my position is different than Williams, all right? But Williams is probably gonna apply for that position I'm on right now, or there is a new position, a new open position. So Williams uh, does on the job training with me because I am, uh, or I have been working on this department, and I know what to do, all right? So that Williams is not a new hire. William has been for the company for the last 10 years, but he's gonna be trained on the job trained to a new position within the same company, all right? Uh, so it's not only for new hires, it can be for people that has already been working for that company, all right? During OJT, a newcomer to a job role is paired with an experienced team member or leader. The trainee typically accompanies their co-workers or mentor to observe the tasks accomplished during a typical workday. So that means it's similar to job shadowing. Remember the job shadowing term that we saw like three weeks ago? It's similar, right? Because I, 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 I am new hire for Diana and Diana says, okay, Jessica, so come with me. I'm going to show you what to do. All right. So Diana does her job and I'm watching Diana. All right. And I can watch Diana for a day, for a week, for a month, for as long as I would need to, but it's quicker than sending Jessica to a training. All right. Because I'm watching how Diana does it. I'm watching what Diana does every day, how she handles everything. All right. What she does, what she doesn't do. All right. Uh, let me see. After a period of observation and explanation, because the Anita is explaining to me, okay, Jessica, this is how we, how you do it, right? So, you know, I'm gonna make a big mess. No, Diana, you don't wanna hire me, believe me. <laughs> All right. So, Diana, uh, I am observing, but at the same time, Diana is explaining. All right. Uh, the trainee is allowed to perform a specific job or task they have observed okay so today diana showed me how to make a phone call to a customer all right and then tomorrow diana says okay jessica remember how i made the phone call to yes diana all right so she's like okay so now i want you to do it all right and then diana's probably gonna be watching me to see if i made the right phone call and i said the right things Probably after that, Diana's going to tell me, okay, Jessica, so you have to improve on this. You did very well on this. All right. So it's like explanation all the time. Observation plus explanation. On the job training can be either a structured or unstructured. Okay. What does unstructured OJT means? Usually has not set training agenda. All right. So for example, again, Diana tells me, okay, Jessica, follow me. And then today she doesn't really have something structured. It's just, I am watching her doing it like, you know, without any structure agenda. The new hire observes or works alongside an experienced coworker. The coworker acting as a trainer, job tasks and activity they want the trainee to learn. It works best for limited job positions in a company that requires trainees to perform well-defined tasks in consider in consistent manner. For example, if you hire a receptionist for your medical clinic, you need to consistently teach them how to fill in the contract form, count cash, and work with the scheduling software. All right? A structure OJT is designed and delivered in a well-defined method, methodical manner. It usually includes a clear training agenda with tasks and timeline for completion. Each coworker completes the same training agenda and activities for a given job role. For example, you can create a separate learning program for the whole call center staff or a sales 
All right? Number three. Do you want me to keep on reading or someone wants to read? I don't mind. Me, teacher. All right, thank you, Dianita. Number three, indicators. Okay. Three indicators you should start a structure on the job training. If your company didn't just appear a couple of days ago, you're likely to have at least minimum basic training for new employees. However, at some point, you may need to institute a well-planned and well-structured on-the-job training program. Three indicators that you should do it right now are mm -hmm. Indicator number one, grow. If your organization is growing consistently and you're experiencing the mm -hmm. continual infu infusion, infusion. Of, infusion of the staff, it's time to think about launching new hire training. A well-structured program will help you simplify and speed up the new employee onboarding process and help your new team members to acquire the knowledge and skills needed much, much faster. Very good. Continue. Indicator number two, change. When the company changes the way they do business, this is a major indication that the staff training should be launched. Of course, that if you don't want to get caught up in new problems and be forced to delay changes. OJT can help reduce the stress associated with innovation through, through. Mm -hmm. new or updated technologies in your workplace. Hands-on practice using new software or hardware gives workers the experience and confidence they need to use new tools correctly. Mm -hmm. Business practices or business goals. Changing what you do or how you do it is a big deal. Training is a great way to help instill new habits. Company poli policies, policies. Or pro mm -hmm. policies or procedures. 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 Mm -hmm. After a company refines its policies, it's important to show employees how the changes benefit both individuals and the company. It is also possible to do it through on-the-job training. Reorganization of job roles or, re or responsibilities. OJT can help to reduce or eliminate much of the confusion related to job changes when they are driven by enterprise or team level reorganizations. All right. Indicators. Continue, Diana. Okay. Finish that Indicator. point. Okay. Indicator number three, metrics. When metrics vary from vary. the norm, vary from the norm, it's time to act. On the job training can help get you back on track when productivity is on the on the decline. Mm -hmm. When your teams don't produce as expected, hands-on training can bring them back to the levels needed. Okay. Customer satisfaction or quality levels drop. Negative feedback is really a gift, even if it's hard to take sometimes. When once happy customers raise a red flag, it's time to investigate and take appropriate action. Remember that training is never one and done process. Assess and review your training programs and processes on a regular basis to remain aligned when organizational needs. Excellent, very good, thank you. Someone else wants to read number five? Benefits okay. on the job yeah. training? Okay, Jenny. Benefits of on the job training. Let's look at how our design OGT program benefits organizations. Provide a custom learning experience. New employees learn how to perform tasks in exactly the right way for your organization. This can help your new employees become productive more quickly. Mm -hmm. Cost efficiency. Training is usually conducted by experienced colleagues, mm -hmm. colleagues in the workplace. This eliminates the need to hire expensive outside training or to travel off-site. Very good. Increase 
increase engagement and job satisfaction. A recent study by Linker Ondens will stay with an organization longer is if it invested in their careers. Another study found employees who were offered OGT to be 30% happier with their careers than those who received no training. Mm -hmm. Develop an internal talent pipeline. Okay. This kind of training gives your experienced workers the chance to mentor new colleagues, colleagues within a structured framework. This can help you prepare high performing team members for advancement. For future advancement. Mm -hmm. Turnover, attracting advancement, yes. Reduce over. Attracting, hiring, and retaining top talent can be difficult in many job markets today. Training can show both new and current employees that you are serious about creating long-term job opportunities. Very good. Thank you, Jenny. All right, who wants to read on the job training methods? I'm going to. Okay. All right, Williams, yes. Okay on the job training methods. There are many ways to design and deliver effective OGT. Here are some of the most common training methods. Mm -hmm. One, coaching or mentorship. Trainers work directly under the supervision of a team leader, supervisor, or manager. The coach or mentor provides a constructive feedback loop to the training. This training method is most successful when the leader takes that time to clearly explain each concept and is open to answering questions about the overall process. Excellent. Mm -hmm. At the end, coach helps teams with their issues and assists in, organizi in organizing, organizing? organizing groups of people to be even more successful. They focus on three areas collaboration, leadership, and technical practices. Besides, ABM delivers a program called the Agile Doctor is in that allows employees to schedule the time with one of the ABM coach to focus on a specific problem that needs solving. Mm -hmm. Two, internships. These methods can be offered to either current or new hire employees. Internships for current employees often focus on theory, theoretical, 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 practical aspects of a job role and can be mainly for observation purpose. Internships for new hires also stress theory and practice while also requiring trainees to put in some hands on time. Okay. Three. The body system. A body system pairs the training with a team member at their same level as opposite to a leader. This method gives the trainee an opportunity to observe how job tasks are done in a real world setting. It works best when the experienced work, worker okay. is a communicator who can demonstrate how to use approval best practice. Mm -hmm. For instance, Bacardi, a famous room maker, uh, uses a bar system as part of its new hire onboarding program. In a special onboarding app, every new hire, no matter their location or role, can find contact details for Bacardi Barry. They can go to for advice. Barrys, who are actually senior employees, provide all the necessary guidance. Guide guidance? Then Gu guidance. Mm -hmm. For job shadowing or observation. Shadowing is when a new hire accompanies an experienced co-worker over a period of time to see how the co-worker structures their day and performs regular job duties. The trainee typically does not participate in work duties. Instead, 
Their goals is to listen and learn. Job shadowing is often a first activity for individuals moving into a leadership role or a sales position. Mm -hmm. Five, job rotation, stretch assignments. Rotation or stretch assignments place individuals from one area of an organization into a different job role for a set period of time. Job rotation participants may be assigned a uh, body or mentor to guide them. Job rotations and stretch assignments are a good way to give high performing employees exposure to new areas of the business. Six, e-learning. Today's learning te technologies make it possible for organizations to train their employees online. Concise. 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 Focus e-learning modules can be integrated into an OJT program and access as a part of a daily training routine. A blended learning strategy could require employees to spend 10 to 15 minutes a day on e-learning activities and the rest of their day on job tasks. For example, Via San Vincent, a healthcare provider, created a series of e-learning courses that integrate easily into that organization new hire training program. All right. Here's an example of Villa San Vincent's e-course. All right. So there's a small example here, but we're not going to watch that. All right. Uh, this one, uh, Williams. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Dialogue simulations can also be an effective way for employees to learn a variety of communication skills, including how to address customers in a professional manner, how to conduct a sales call, and how to speak persuasively. 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 Okay. Conversation simulations are often accessed at the point of need, which means that your people get that knowledge, knowledge? They, they need at the time they need it most. See an example of a data simulation developed for terror those homes. All right, so this is an example here. And we're almost finishing. I want to get to that point here. All right, thank you, Williams. Virtual reality and, argue, and augmented reality. All right, we're not going to read this one. I want to go to here. Uh, let's see. Oscar, do you mind reading how to launch on the job training? Sure, how to launch on the job training. Once you've made uh, the decision to create a, an OJT program, it's time to design the solution that works best for you. A systematic six step approach, such as the one described here, is a great template for any type of training. Step one, assess needs. When when designing any type, any type of learning program, always start with the end in mind. Ask, ask the following, ask, what are our goals for the program overall? Which jobs, roles would benefit most from the OJT? What are the qualifications, knowledge, hard and soft skills for, these, for those job roles? What skills or knowledge do new hires usually already have? Mm -hmm. What skills of, or knowledge do we usually have to teach our new hires? What skills or knowledge typically require ongoing training or coaching? Once you've identified your most pressing training needs, you can start to define the specific uh, knowledge or skills your OJT should include. Here are a few examples. All right, okay, okay, I stop right there. Okay, look at this one. We have this job, uh, type of job, it says appliance repair technician, all right? It's a guy that is a, is a technician that repairs appliances, all right? So what kind of uh, on-the-job training he should look at? He's gonna go over go on service calls, also customer interaction, 
perform repairs under the guidance of an experienced tech, review and explain workplace safety guidelines. What about a customer service agent? What kind of OJT this person should receive? Practice using database software, listen in as an experienced agent, take customer calls, follow scripts to make a sample customer call. What about a print shop operator? There are different job uh, type of jobs, all right? It helps set up the machine for a large print run, select the correct paper, stock, size and type based on the job, monitor and replace uh, consumables during a run, all right? So this is what I, I'm gonna send you guys to do right now, okay? Uh, every group, for example, if I'm working with Silvita, I'm gonna, um, Silvia and I will have a profession, all right? Or the uh, type of job. And then Silvia and I, we're gonna be thinking, okay, we're thinking on the job training. What kind of things or what kind of on the oh, job oh. training uh, should our profession like, receive on the job training for example if silvita and i i'm going to talk about teachers because i'm a teacher uh if silvita and i were talking about teachers all right so silvia and i were thinking what type of on the job training should a teacher receive watch a class all right uh go over a lesson plan uh, go over a test for example so you know how to grade it all right uh talk to children because if you're like on a school so you know you should know how to how to behave with children all right so we as a group with sylvia we're gonna think okay so what kind of on the job training should a teacher receive all right no it's not they're not gonna be sent to a training they're gonna be on the job training do you understand my point guys do you understand what you guys are gonna be working on yes all right, so that's why I wanted to show you this. All, we read all that because I think it's also important for you to know. All right, but we're coming to this. I want you to write on the top of your page or the computer, whatever you're gonna type, the uh, type of job, all right? And then come up with four or five on the job trainings, he or she, do you believe she should like study or like follow someone, okay? You know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna take the last attendance so the rest of the class, you are on the group, all right? Oh, cool, what is, Jesenia, I don't see you. I see you as a bubble, a water bubble. Wow, cool, <laughs> that's a nice effect. I'm sorry, Jesse, I don't see you. All right, so uh, Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Lirio Perez Diaz. No, he never came in. Oh, look at Jesse. Jesse, que le pasa? <laughs> You're taking old shapes and forms <laughs> and colors. That's cool. All right, Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. No, all right. Uh, Henry Vladimir del Citepas. Present teacher. Yes, Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present teacher. Gabriel Hernández Morales. Dianita. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Andrea María Trabanino Alfaro. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Present. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present teacher. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present teacher. Eh, Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present teacher. Elizabeth El Carmen Salguero Romero. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Present. Eh, Verónica Lizette Soto Serna. Present. Thank you, Verito. Anubia Araceli, creo que se acaba de salir. Moises, you had, no lo mencioné, Moises. No, teacher. <laughs> Moises, Eduardo. <laughs> Present. I'm sorry, Moises. Thanks. All right. Thank Thanks. you. Okay. So here, guys, I just wanted to show you this one before you go on. Uh, let me see. Let me just uh, show you this. So here on the job training for different jobs, this is what you're going to do. I told you at the beginning that I chose on the job training. All right. And you're thinking of different jobs. 
and I want you to think, okay, what activities do I, in this case, teacher, have to do when uh, using or receiving on-the-job training, all right? So, as I said, for example, watching a class, uh, supervising on recess, uh, I don't know, watching how, the, um, how to grade a test, all right, how to talk to a parent, all right? So, think about five or six activities they can do on the job training here i i had this picture all right so you may take one of these i'm not going to find a profession or a job type of uh, a type of job for you you can choose whatever you want okay so here's like an example you can think about a police officer a receptionist a firefighter a doctor a, an engineer a lawyer a nurse an architect you think about it okay i just wanted to show you that those cute pictures all right so go to your groups and think okay on the job training for a teacher what activities should a teacher look on the job training all right like what activities they should they would have to do so right now i'm sending it to your groups oops oh there you go all right Um, four or five years, they have a, a, a computer training. Yeah, I think it is okay. All right, I want you guys to think about the doctor. It was hired for this new hospital, all right? And Williams is the doctor already, okay? So William, someone, this Jennifer is the new doctor. And what are the activities that you want Jennifer to, to see you doing, all right? Which activities do you want her to see how you, I don't know, how you talk to a patient, how to operate the new machines, the ventilators? So think about a couple of activities on teaching Jennifer on the job right now at you all right okay okay thank okay. you ah okay okay uh -huh. yeah okay it's three or three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. diana and henry which profession did you choose we chose policeman. Uh, policeman ah policeman so I want you to think about, yes. okay, Diana is the police officer with many years of experience and Henry is the new hire, okay, the new police officer. So, uh, Diana, what kind of activities do are you going to show on the job to Henry that you want him to learn? All right, do you mm -hmm. want him to learn about, I don't know, um, I don't know, uh, investigating a crime? <laughs> do you want him to know about, I don't know, following the robbers? Or mm -hmm. things like that, all right? So think about on the job training. Uh -huh. You're already there, all right? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, Hi, Oscar. Okay. Hi, Gerardo. Uh, hi. Which hi, profession teacher. did you guys choose? Uh, for the moment, police. 
A police officer. Okay, great. So, Oscar, you are the police officer with 30 years of experience, and Gerardo is the okay. new police officer. All right. So, Oscar, what are the on the job training? Or what are the activities that you want uh, Gerardo to know and to follow you around on? All right. Do you okay. want? Okay. Uh huh. Do you want we, him to? We, uh huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. We will be in that case. We will be patrolling together. Okay. As, sure. As, as partners. Yeah, nice. In pair. In pair. And, right. Uh, and he will be shadowing my job. Okay. My job, and I will be mentoring him. Cool. In uh, weapon, we were talking with Gerardo, weapon management. Oh, cool. So law enforcement. Okay. Because some procedure, law, law procedures. Because law procedures, for, uh, yes. Sometimes the, the criminals set, are set free mm -hmm. because of uh, a wrong or a mistaken procedure. Right, that's have right. To, cool. All uh, right, nice. Okay. Have to execute a, an arrest. Okay, cool. Self defense. <laughs> Self defense. Oh, nice. Okay. What, what else, Gerardo? What Gerardo was telling me. I didn't, oh, my goodness, I didn't make Gerardo. up. Gerardo gave me the list. Oh, my goodness, Gerardo. You're doing great. Handle weapons. Okay. Handle oh, weapons. How to handle weapons. Yes, of course. All right. So keep on talking about it. I'm going to check other groups. Okay. Okay. The first one is. Um, I, I I remember one 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 time ago, I look at the the brochure for the APAC. Uh -huh. and I review the the subject and schedule for that profession. Mm -hmm. yes. I, very interesting because the first one is for the for the the clean. Cleaning. Ah. Yes, for a cleaning personnel and, and always for cleaning equipment. Okay, all right. Equipment. Now, Normita, uh, yes, very good. Normita and Moises, what I want you to think, you chose chef, yes? Yes. So, yes. Uh, Moises is the experienced chef. He has been working on this uh, restaurant for 20 years, okay? And Normita, okay. chef, okay? So, Moises, what activities are you gonna show on the job to Norma that you want her to learn? Do you want her to uh, show you, I mean, do you want her to follow you making a special food or do you want her to clean up after you? Or like, uh, think about activities that you want, Moises, for Norma to learn on the job right now, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, First, Norma and for Hi, Jose and Luis. Hi, Silvita. Which profession did you choose? Hello, teacher. I choose secretary. Okay, all right. Okay, so Jose Luis, you, I mean, um, well, whatever. Silvia has been the secretary of this company for 20 years, okay? And Jose Luis is the new secretario, all right? The new secretary, okay? So, Silvia, I want you to think of five or six activities that you want Jose Luis to learn on the job training. What are the five or six activities that you're going to teach him by either job shadowing or just mentoring or whatever? But think of, mention five or six activities that you want Jose Luis to learn on the job. Okay, Silvia? Okay. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Hi, Benito. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Which profession did you girls choose? We are going to show a doctor. Doctor, perfect. Okay, so, eh, Benito, you have been the doctor for 20 years, okay, in this clinic. Now, Jesse is a new hire. She's a new doctor, okay? okay. So, Pero, think about five or six activities that you want Jesse to learn by... Mm -hmm. Uh, using the on-the-job training, okay? So do you want her to follow you when you are talking to a patient? Do you want her to see you um, uh, using these new ventilators, these new machines? So think about five or six activities that you, as the experienced doctor, want to show the new doctor coming into this clinic, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you, teacher. And then Cruz. That's a, that's a key. Yeah. That you had just <laughs> better that you had a experience, bad experience, and you can teach me that I I don't make that. Ah, true. All right. <laughs> yeah. I don't look kill someone. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Only this three. Hi, Irene. Hi, Irene. Hi, teacher. Which activity, which profession did you take or which job? Um, for the moment, a bakery woman, teacher. Oh, a baker. All right. Okay. So, what I want you, I don't know if you did it this way, but what I want you guys, uh, girls, to work on is, for example, think that Ellie has been working on this bakery for 20 years okay so she is an experienced baker and irene you are the new baker okay so now ellie think uh, together ellie and irene think about five or six activities that you ellie want irene to do all right what are the the on the job uh, activities that you want her to do do you want her to be you making a cake, baking a cake, or do you want her to learn how to, um, I don't know, how to measure the ingredients, all right? So think about five or six activities that you want her to learn on the job training, okay? Okay, teacher, a yes. question. Oh, sorry, uh, you. Uh, yes, Irene, tell me. Okay. Um, we we have uh, um, ideas uh, and ideas and okay. um, we, we write a uh, Chinese training about this about uh, training about uh, appliance repair the niche because needs review and play work plays a very good deal like maybe it's okay sure yeah okay all right okay but but uh, the next one maybe in, in the in the and the place job sure yeah think about yeah right uh -huh. now you're on this panaderia one all right so Ellie uh -huh. is she wants you to learn how to i don't know how to make a cake all right yeah. or how to measure the ingredients or how to yeah. um work with the customer all right because the customers come in and buy your pan <laughs> all right yeah. cakes all right so think about five or six activities that way okay okay thank you thank teacher, you only a, only a question dime, uh, dime. the this this example is for tenemos que tomar los ejemplos de este cual no 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 necesariamente no, estos son eh, actividades que un operador de una imprenta haría el on the work training. Estos son de un agente de servicio al cliente. All right. Y este sería técnico para que repara, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Electrodomésticos. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Entonces, basado en esto, eh, eh, fue que se pensó hacer, ok, escojan ustedes una profesión y qué tipo de actividades tendría que aprender, en este caso, un panadero o una, pana, una panadera. Hey. Mm -hmm. But not necessarily you need to use this one. This is like an example. Okay. Okay. Thank I you. Go. That's okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. Ah, okay. Hi, teacher. Cool. Hi, teacher. Thinking about coffee. I need a coffee. No, I, I'm kidding. Williams. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So remind me, what was your profession, Williams and Jenny? He's a doctor. General oh. doctor. A general doctor. All right. So, what activities? What was? Who was the experienced doctor? Jennifer or Williams? Jennifer. Ah, okay. So, Jennifer, what are the activities that you taught Williams? I um, did first. Oh, yes, gentleman. I know Williams. Uh huh. Jenny. <laughs> Professional. For example. <laughs> 
Uh, for example, training about the computer system. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, operative a new machine. <gasps> to operate new machine. All right. Okay. Yes. What to else? To use uh, different intersystems in the hospital. Okay. Uh, how to use uh, different forms. Mm -hmm. To fill, uh, para, like to fill in forms para llenar formularios. Yeah. Ah, to form. fill in forms. Okay. Ah, fill, fill in, in forms. Yes. Fill in, yes. Okay. All right. Oh, cool. Yes. All yes. Right. About the okay. uh, up, update to the to the news news uh teacher I don't remember enfermedades sickness illnesses or sicknesses uh -huh. illnesses or sickness. Mm -hmm. Sickness, um, for example, in the in this time about the the treatments, mm -hmm. the treatments to co to fight to the coronavirus. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. So any the the teacher higienizar. El qué? <laughs> It's okay. Lo que hacemos en este momento que nos sanitize. Um, sanitize. Sanitize. Yes. Right, sanitize. Yes, right. yes. About the sanitize right. forms. Yeah. Yes. All right. Williams and Jennifer, I just wanna, I just wanted to say something to you. You're reading very well now, Williams and Jennifer. Your yeah, reading, you. your reading has improved a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. I thank was you. listening to you. Oh my goodness! Very good. Yay. <laughs> Yeah. Very good, guys. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, you're reading really nice. Thank you. Thank you. I am proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so give me one more minute and we're almost finished, okay? Okay. Thank okay, you. teacher. Don't sleep in the class. But... Don't sleep. Gerardo, don't sleep. <laughs> I'm listening to you, Gerardo. <laughs> I was asking Gerardo why he's laying at, at the bed at this time every day. Yeah, no kidding. We were trying to find out. We were to... <laughs> All right, we're going back and then okay. we're almost finishing. We're... All right, guys, uh, let's see. Uh, let me let me see. Oscar, Oscar and Gerardo. Can you tell your classmates what was the profession and what were the job on the job trainings yeah. that you and uh, Gerardo thought about, Oscar? Okay. Go ahead, Gerardo. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we are talking about the police officer and mm -hmm. and we uh, we are talking the, the training. The police officer has the handle of technology. Okay. And sense self defense. Self defense, uh huh. And the the treat with the the people like gender or the other. People. Okay. Uh, ahead of the officer, and then the other training to do is to handle weapons. To handle weapons, yes, of course. All right. Okay. All right, very good. Anything else? We will be patrolling. Okay. All we will right. be patrolling. And the OJT is is uh, in the OJT. Uh, I will be mentoring Gerardo. Okay. okay. All right. Gerardo will, will be shadowing me. Okay. And we will we will uh, get uh, we will be uh, Gerardo will be watching how okay. do we perform. All, all these right. activities. I get it. Including, um, what can I say, personal uh, condition like uh, getting getting fit, oh. running fast, like a running okay. fast. Cool. So many. Actually, we make a bigger list. For, oh, for nice. That's okay. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Not cool. To equal equal gender but, treatment. All right. LGBT yes. Treatment. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh -huh. Verito, who are you working with, Vero? with Cruz. 
Ah, okay, okay, Vero. So tell us, uh, what was the profession and on the job trainings, like three or four that you guys chose? The professional is a doctor. A doctor, all right. Yes. And for example, uh, practice using new equipment. Okay. Uh, new, learn about new treatments for different illnesses. Okay. Uh, okay. The other, develop a new technical to operate to patient. Patients, yes. Yes. All right. Only okay. that because we didn't finish. All right, that's okay. Very good. And um, Diana, the last one, Dianita, where you were working with Moises, I mean, no, you were working with Henry. With, no, uh, yes, with Henry. Yes. We chose a policeman too. Oh, very good. Okay. <laughs> yes, I think it, it's really exciting because they had a, a lot of on street training. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> okay. We, so we we think that they they had to know how to investigate a crime. Okay. How to make a detention of oh, a suspect. Okay. Yes. How to identify the offender of, or a criminal. Okay. Uh, how to conserve a crime scene. Oh my goodness, yes, that's very important. Cool, Diana. It's really important, <laughs> yeah. How to shoot a gun if oh, it's okay. necessary okay. and when it's necessary. Excellent, very good. All right. How to, uh, I don't know, how to be aware, aware of the environment all right. the time. All the time. All right, very good. All right, guys, uh, thank you, Diana. And we're going to stop right here because we have the, the class de refuerzo. All right, so I'm going to connect up this one and I'm going to connect to the new one. All right. So thank you so much for being with me tonight again. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a nice night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.